Good afternoon. I was doing some research on a video that I'm planning on doing real soon. <laughs> but in my going through finding research, I found a website that was comparing Christianity to paganism. And although this was by a Catholic um, source, so yes, you can take it for what it's worth. Uh, the person who wrote this says that modern paganism is missing three things that old paganism had. And it is those old three aspects that make paganism lacking, um, that makes it, takes away from it. And I thought that was very interesting. And so I wanted to share them with you and my opinions on it. One is the lack of piety. Piety is a reference to a god or devout respect for religious icons or structure. We, we don't really honor gods like in other religions. Um, I'm going to reference this in any of the other three. But we seem to be um, treating the gods and goddesses as not as devout higher entities as we probably should. Uh, modern paganism is about the divinization of man. How man, through New Age concepts, is supposed to raise his vibration and, you know, work with his chakras to become elevated to the level of man. It is about meditation, but not devotion. And I know the last thing that many people want to do is to say that they have to do these chores to earn the respect of gods, but at least it's better than the Christianity. You know, all you have to do is accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Um, you know, we talked about building a relationship with the god and goddesses so that we can understand the world better. You know, if you want to do magic, you cannot call upon. Um, Hecate, if you don't treat Hecate with uh, a certain level of respect and admiration. Number two is the lack of objective morality. Um, ethics. You know, back in the day, I mean, there were absolutes. You know, if you, there were certain things that you did or did not do as part of your belief system. And that does not happen in these days in paganism. Uh, too many times we create exceptions to every rule. Do as you wish. Don't do what is expected of you. Uh, we have people that cherry pick their tradition because, oh, this part doesn't seem right, or they don't like that part. Um, we have people that will combine pantheons because they are told they can do whatever they want. But they are ignoring structures and such. And so that part is screwy. But on the object of morality, it is about doing the right thing and not doing the wrong thing. Um, objective morality means that there you do something and it does not matter on how you view it, how other people view it. It is what it is. Murder is wrong. So murder is an object objective morality. It is wrong. Helping people, being kind, showing respect, those are objective moralities as well, because you should help people that are in need. 
okay the final one is the lack of worship um, back in the day all religions used to worship a lot more than what we do today um, you know the Muslims you can at least give them you know some kudos they are more devout on their physical worship with their five prayers to Mecca you know how they must bow and face Mecca that is a form of worship and we don't do that in paganism we lack it completely um, as as it was said in this uh, website I will put the link up for it in the description uh, many treat gods like books something that you can put away um, Hecate isn't there 24 hours you know 24 7 um, so we have to watch our back you know so many of us pagans are exactly like the Sunday Christians that many of us have complained about and you know what I'm talking about those Christians that will go out they'll party they will drink cuss they will do fights they will steal they will have affairs they will do all these things that go against the Christian Bible but on Sunday they are in their suits ties they look you know like they are the picture-perfect Christian on Sunday the rest of the week forget about it it's also like the video that I created um, a few years ago about treating gods like Pokemon we treat the gods as tools we treat them as if they were there to service us when we need them and we don't owe them jack squat so we act in this behavior that is really i guess you would say anti-pagan but when it comes sabbath time and we got to do something we need something sure we'll pull, pull out hecate how about carriage win kernunos hera odin thor pick the god and whatever you need boom there it is it doesn't matter that the rest of that month you were a complete ass this is the lack of worship that we have we are fair weather most of us are fair weather pagans we are their only well actually bad weather pagans because we're only going to be calling upon the gods and goddesses and following procedure when we need something so anyway um this goes into something I was thinking about a long time ago and while well, still thinking about it, and that is maybe paganism needs some scripture. Maybe they need some structure. You know, we say that pagans shouldn't preach, but why the hell not? Because it seems like so many people are cherry picking and ignoring and doing a whole bunch of things that, you know, are at odds with paganism but yet they still call themselves pagan you know and this goes on defining what pagans are as well because you know each group is different I mean yes the the structure of a Greek oriented pagan is going to be in many ways different than a structure of a Celtic oriented pagan but if we are going to try to have some type of conduct some type of ethics we have to start somewhere and maybe it's time to start you know with honoring the gods a little bit better than we have been so anyway that's enough on this particular rant i just wanted to share that with you so everybody take care be at peace 
Uh, please comment below if you agree, disagree with me, because I know this is going to be um, agitating for some people. And so I would really like to hear some other opinions. Okay, so take care, everybody.